Get Out of My Shoe by Katie Blanchard, Short Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named Get Out of My Shoe by Katie Blanchard, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Wilma, the mother of 17 full-of-life kids, was busy sweeping and tidying up her home, which happened to be home in the shape of a shoe. All 17 kids had to agree that their home was stinky, but it was home. Well, the second eldest son insisted they all stop calling it a shoe, but wanted to correct his family and call it a boot, because it probably was a boot. After a long hibernation, the giant came down from the mountain to find his forgotten left boot inhabited by Peh. Enraged, he gave the old woman and her many children three days to vacate the shoe. Panicked, the mother didn't know what to do. However, her children hatched a plot. The children gathered, and again Will, the second eldest, took command. They would head to the forest nearby and gather what they could to prevent the giant's takeover. The youngest gathered pebbles and stones, while the middle to the oldest gathered pine cone. The oldest five sorted out a porcupine. The giant returned exactly three days later, really to get rid of his boot dwellers. The mom stood near her home, shivering in fear and crying. Will stepped closer to the giant and said, Here you go, step into your boot and see how cozy we made it for you. The giant grinned and did just that. As he did, his foot hit the porcupine quivers, and then the porcupine slid away as the giant's now painful foot stepped on the pine cones and pebbles. Ouch! said the giant. Surprisingly to the large family, the giant turned and limped away, never to return. Mom turned and hugged each of her many kids, and together they quickly cleaned out their home, thanked the porcupine, and lived happily ever after in their beloved, albeit stinky, home. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.